Okay guys, quick video. I've been running the Kurt Discovery digital brake controller. And this thing is not proportional. And I'm always having to adjust on it and it seems like I'm not getting a smooth stop no matter where I adjust it. Maybe I just haven't figured it out. But I went ahead and stuck with Kurt because I've got an adapter plug to make this one work and I'm hoping it'll work with this Kurt. But I went ahead and upgraded to the tri tri Triflex Next brake controller. This one is proportional. So I've got the Alright, the Discovery is this one, which is what I'm running now. Let's see if I can get this in better view here. But it's time delay, and I'm not liking that. So this one's proportional. Both of them are two to eight trailer brakes, one four axles. Both of them have auto sleep mode. Any mounting angle for both of them. Both of them have brightness control, both of them have day-night mode, both of them are 0.05 or 0.5 increments output, and both are for text, full text diagnostics. So the only difference really is, one's time delayed, and one is proportional. And I do believe this proportional is going to give us a smoother stop than what the discovery time delay is doing. I had the proportional on my truck when I had it, and it always seemed to uh, work just perfect. So we're going to swap these out. I should be able to use the same adapter plug, and this one does mount a little bit different, so I'll change that up. And uh, first we're going to remove this, and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so this is what we get out of the box. This is the Triflex next and as you can see get my cable out here it is smaller than the discovery it's also a lot of weight but you get the controller some zip ties here and some stick on stuff and some screws and the plug is going to fit the same adapter and since I had my old one here, I already have these hose and dash, I'm just going to put the, this one here too. And it'll actually be up flusher than the other one. But I don't want to, there's more room here than there is there. And I didn't have any issues getting my hood open and stuff like that here. And this one I shouldn't really have to worry about messing with as much as I did that one. But it's going to plug right up. It just has this... I may have to take my hand off. There it goes. This is your mounting plate. So we'll just screw it on there. Hopefully, I don't think it's going to be in the way of the hood latch. And we'll just slide this one on, plug it in, and we're ready to go again. Now, I won't be able to actually test it out for a while because our camper is in the warranty shop or in the shop getting warranty work done. And once we get that back, we will adjust everything. And uh, if it needs adjust, and I hadn't even read, read the instructions yet, uh, there is a quick instruction book here with all the modes and tells you what they do. And then how to drive and adjust to adjust your gain and load can be adjusted to achieve smooth and firm stops so i'll keep this in here with this and when we get our camper back we'll set it up and see if it works smoother than this one that one did work but uh you had to really get it tuned just right to have a nice smooth stop to where the trailer brakes weren't locking up more than the vehicle brakes and then after you were stopped when it was time to go when you let off for the brake it seemed like there was a little bit of a, a jump in the vehicle because the trailer brakes would release after the vehicle brakes released, but you could feel a, 
a, a movement when they released. So uh, maybe I just didn't have that adjusted right. Uh, I haven't really ever messed with that type of brake controller that much. Uh, but it did get a spy for quite a while. And uh, I just got tired of adjusting on it, trying to get the sweet spot. I think this is going to be much better. Stay tuned, and we'll let you know. I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, hook this back up. I'll shoot a quick picture of it installed, and we'll be done with this video. So I just put the old controller in the box for the new controller, and I'm going to take the instructions inside and read them here in just a minute. Uh, as you can see, it's mounted. It's a lot slender up closer to the, the dash, so it's really not in the way any at all. Uh, I can still un do the hood the latch is right back here plenty of room to open the hood uh i can uh, you know just reach down and push that if i need to and your modes are here you can see everything's on there's your load brightness gain As light as my camper is, I'm probably not going to need much load. Three must be all the way on brightness. But we'll get into the settings later. 